welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about segments and we're going to start off with the ruler postulate. And just to review, a postulate is an accepted statement or fact. It's something that is just so obvious that we don't need to take the time to prove it. The ruler postulate says that every point on a line can be paired with a real number. So if we were to take a look at point A here, it is paired with a 1. If we were to take a look at point B, it's paired with the number 6. These numbers are specifically called the coordinates of the points. So take a second and reread this definition. Now we're going to talk about finding the distance between these two points. And we do this by taking the absolute value of the difference of their coordinates. And again, difference just means subtraction. So let's find the distance between point A and B. Taking the coordinate of A is 1, subtracting the coordinate of B, which is 6, and then taking the absolute value. So 1 minus 6 is negative 5, and then taking the absolute value, it would just be a positive 5. Now let's go in the reverse direction and start with the coordinate of B. The coordinate of B is 6, and then I'm going to subtract 1. 6 minus 1 is 5, and then of course taking the absolute value would just be a positive 5. You can go in either direction like we did here, or start with either point, and you're going to end up with the same length. Now, let's talk about the segment addition postulate. And first, I'm going to give it to you in my own words, and then I'll give you the proper definition. In my own words, to me, the segment addition postulate just means that if you take a chunk out of a segment and add it to the chunk that's right next to it, you're going to end up with this whole big chunk. In other words, AB plus BC equals AC. Now let's look at the proper definition of the segment addition postulate. If three points, A, B, and C, are collinear, which means that all three points are on the same line, and B is between A and C, then AB plus BC equals AC. Makes sense. Now let's apply the segment addition postulate. Let's say that we're given this information here, and we are also given that the length of the whole segment is 80, and we want to solve for x. So let's set up an equation. Using the segment addition postulate, I am going to substitute this expression for AB and this expression here for BC. Now let's combine like terms, and then I would use the subtraction property of equalities to subtract 10 from both sides, and then I would use the division property of equality, and then I'm left with x equals 10. In class, we'll go a step further, and we're going to plug in this x here, and it would give us the length of AB, and if I plug it in here, it would give me the length of BC. Now let's talk about congruent segments, but first let's look at the definition. Congruent segments are segments that have the same length. So looking at this diagram here, AB is congruent to CD because they both have a length of 5. If you know the actual number measurement, you would write it like this, AB equals CD. But if we don't know the actual number measurement, we would show that they're congruent by showing the same number of marks. So I have one mark here and one mark here that's telling me that they have the same length. And I would write it like this. So when you know the actual number measurement, you would write it like this. If we don't know the number measurement, then you would express it like this. And uh, take note that the segment symbol is above the AB as well as the CD, and we're using this new symbol right here, and this specifically means that they're congruent. Now let's take a look at midpoint. Well, mid stands for middle, and point is just a point, so it's the point in the middle. And let's specifically look at the definition. The midpoint of a segment 
is a point that divides the segment into two congruent segments. And we know that this is the midpoint because this AB is congruent to BC, and we know that because they have the same number of marks. It doesn't matter how many marks they have as long as it's the same number. That's telling me that those segments are congruent. I'm going to show you how we might use the definition of the midpoint to set up an equation. Let's say we're given that B is the midpoint of this segment AC. The minute we see the word midpoint, we know that these have to be congruent segments because the midpoint divides this into two congruent parts. That means that these segments are equal to each other. So I can just make this expression equal to this expression over here and then just use my basic algebra to solve for x. Subtract 5x to get x, and then add 7 to get 8. So x would be 8. I'll see you guys in class. This has been a lot of fun.